One night I got up to go to the washroom, and next thing I know, I woke up on the floor. But Pamela woke up in the morning and came in and found me. Then she called 911. It grew into this gangrene, as they call it. Just went from there and spread. And they don't really know. They didn't know where it came from, how it got it, nothing. So luckily they, they got it under control. But 14 operations to survive. So he was in the hospital for six months and then Christmas Eve they said he could come home and that was fine but I said I don't know how to look after him and they said no we'll arrange for VHA to come so Christmas Day and Julie came. Oh when I first came here and to see Jack his wound was really bad he was in a lot of pain now he's a lot better he his wound it's, it's completely healed. He improved a lot. And he's just so happy with her and happy to get the home care. I'm very fortunate. I have to count my blessings even though I'm laid here. I think the big impact I made to Jack was I make sure that I provide quality care, making them feel better, including the therapeutic relationship. I think that's the uh, big impact I made to Jack. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel good after she leaves. I feel 100% better than before she arrived. And keeps it very personal, like I'm her only client in the world. As far as I'm concerned, she's the best thing that happened to us. She's a happy person. He feels secure when she's here. She's always so friendly and makes me smile, makes me laugh. I don't know what I'd do without her. There was some talk about changing her and that's no way. We enjoy her company. I mean, it, it, even if she wasn't an, an RPN, I would like to have her just as a friend to come and visit. They made me really feel comfortable and it's, it's very heartwarming for me. I love doing this job and I think I'm keeping this job until I retire. <laughs>